Hi, I'm Derek Cole, and welcome to the Coach's Corner. I'm here today at Aspet Valley High School to interview the new head football coach, Ken Staconis. Staconis is only the third head football coach in the program's 40-year history. Staconis has led the Aztecs to a promising start and hopes to continue the success. I interviewed Staconis earlier about what it was like to be the head football coach. You came to Aspet in 2000 along with uh, Coach Rob McCann, who is a fairly successful coach here. Um, what did you learn through those 12 years that gave you the tools to become the head football coach? Well, I was lucky enough to, uh, my first experience, we were actually coaching freshmen and, and we were coaching under Jerry Passner, who was my football coach when I came and played here at football. So it was, it was, a, it was kind of a, a great experience to go back and coach with somebody that I actually played for through high school. And then when he retired, me and Rob were able to come up to the varsity level, and um, Rob was an incredible guy to be around. Rob, Rob taught me a lot, so many skills as far as coaching and how to deal with assistant coaches. He always, you know, gave me a lot of respect on the field, and you know, just taught me a lot of values that it really to this day I use while coaching. Looking over the past seasons, Aspen has been fairly successful as winning a Super Bowl back in 2006 and impairing two more in 2005 and in 2011. Um, also having only one losing record since in the past 12 years. Um, is there any pressure in continuing this uh, decade of dominance? Um, I, I wouldn't consider it pressure. I, I consider it a luxury that I was able to take over a program that was successful. Um, most times people get head coaching jobs. The programs are usually on the downslide and it's usually a rebuilding process. At, at this program, what we would, had to do is basically just maintain and maybe see if we can build off of it. Now, although this is your first head coaching job at Acibit, this isn't your first time here. Could you tell us a little bit about what it's finally like to be the head coach of a football team that really the school's been a big part of your life? Yes, um, I graduated here from this school in 1986. I was lucky enough to be on three Super Bowl teams back when I was in high school here. Um, I knew the tradition. I'm one of seven children that all attended this school also. And so I've been running the hallways of this school since 1974, and this is really the only place that I call home. So um, I know how, what, how it works. I know this, what the school stands for, and we just got to continue what we're doing. I was lucky enough to bring back a couple uh, coaching friends of mine that bring back some history to the school also, because I thought that was important. We brought back Pat Donahue, who was the captain of the team back in 83 when they won that first Super Bowl and he, he's just a great person to have around and like me his family went all through Aspen, one of six children that graduated from here also and so to bring him back was important also so to bring back the history the Aztec history to the coaching staff. Now I understand at the beginning of every week you have a theme for your team and it's called Character Monday could you do, uh, talk about that? Well bit? we started that during the you know, the off season, we wanted to make sure that our kids really focused on character. We realized that, you know, what kids get out of football is a lot more than just the game itself. You know, it's, it's so important that they take the values that you can take from this game and use it in everyday life and it can make you successful just to same, follow the same values that you would use on the football field. And speaking off of the Character Monday, um, we uh, saw earlier that you had the Marines come in. Now, what was the whole point of having the Marines there? Um, it was it was great, wasn't it? But <laughs> to to watch them work, and I went. I was lucky enough to go to a educational workshop down in Paris Island, and when I was down there, I was with some recruiters and and some of the Marines, and really they stand for the same values that we stand, stood for in our football program. So I thought it was kind of a no-brainer when I heard about them coming out to the schools and and working our kids out in a marine type atmosphere. And that's what we thought, and you know, the whole elements are the same. They talk about teamwork, they talk about character, they talk about establishing values, and that's all the stuff that we stood for in our, our program. And so we wanted to make sure that we, we worked those also in, and that's part of our Character Mondays. Now, coming off of a big win versus Monty Tech, now you guys are facing Bay Path, and we all know there's a little bit of history between you and Bay Path. So is there anything you do differently to get your team motivated to face a team such as Bay Path? No, you know what, you know what it is. I mean, they've, they've had our number the last couple of years. But what we're looking at it this year, and we came in at the beginning of the year with this, this mindset of just worry about ourselves. We're not really worried about what Bay Path does. We just got to worry about what we can do. And if we go out and play the way we can play, we believe we can beat anybody. 
you know, they have a great program up there. They've, they've had a great program for the last 25 years. Al Demby's the coach up there, and he's had a, he's had a strong, strong program. But with that being said, you know, we want to take them down. We want to beat them. But it's all up to our team to do what they have to do in that game. All right. Well, we just want to thank you again for taking some time out of your busy schedule, I'm assuming, to uh, talk to us. And no problem. Anytime. We thank you and good luck. Thank you very much. The Aztecs have certainly embraced Coach Saconis' coaching values due to their success. Best of luck to Coach Saconis and the Aztecs the rest of the way. I'm Derek Cole, and thanks for watching The Coach's Corner.